竟幾時至搞掂？究竟幾時至搞掂？支持取消第一收容包。我哋冇事。I think now the Vietnamese problem is one of illegal immigration. And of course, only by abolishing the first asylum policy is not going to put an end to that problem. What it will do is to send a clear message to Vietnam and to the rest of the world that we are no longer a port of first asylum. And hopefully that will deter some of the people who want to leave Vietnam for Hong Kong not to do so. Members of members of the council, we will start the meeting with an address. I think we all understand one thing, and that is for Vietnamese migrants who are coming to Hong Kong now, they are no longer refugees. They can only be regarded as economic migrants. They have not come to Hong Kong through legal channels, and they can only be regarded as unwelcomed illegal immigrants. It seems that the only remaining obstacle comes from our government. Now we still have over a thousand refugees stranded in Hong Kong. So the SA uh, government should have clear policies <coughs> to eradicate this problem. Options may be to persuade other countries to accept them, though this is really a very remote possibility. Or, say, we may persuade them to return to Vietnam voluntarily. This is by no means an easy task. And then um, there is a possibility which Hong Kong people may not want to see, but they may have to consider this option because they have no other alternatives, and that is to allow them to stay in Hong Kong. So we really have to come to a decision to eradicate the refugee problem.